not just a sponsor of your team, but also a fan. Phones you want, service you deserve. Prairie Mobile, your SaskTel authorized dealer. John, just your thoughts on the deal and uh, maybe some of the mixed emotions that come with it. Well, there's lots of mixed emotions that come with it. Like that, there's no question about that for myself and for the players on the team. But um, you know, this isn't the, the day or the everything's been said before. But this is stuff that is a necessary evil, is what I'll call it. Um, when you're losing, you're choosing to trade a, a young man and a player like uh, Morgan. But um, just briefly, because this has never been done before, and it's trying to add to mediocre teams before this is what it's come to and we're not in a position in the organization to have this happen in three years three years time with our next star and this this is what's going to go on what are your, your thoughts on what you have coming here and what kind of impact you expect to make you know short term and long term well um i think this is uh, I'll, I'll answer that but i think this is you know more morgan's time and questions of him but I mean, he's a young, solid player. He's got pretty good stats this year um, as a 17-year-old. Uh, he's a big, strong guy. Um, you know, we're looking forward to what he brings in a different dimension. He's not going to be a guy that's going out and killing five on threes and four on threes, maybe in his career, but certainly not. We know what we're losing, but we know what we're uh, an element he brings right now, and uh, more importantly, a uh, a long-term element. Did you have any um, misgivings about dealing within the division and particularly with no. the rival? No, not at all. You uh, caught the end of Klimchuk's uh, career with the Pats, but from what you've seen in the short time, how much has he meant to this organization? Well, I can't speak to the, the past, what he meant. I mean, I, I know I can visualize it, but I know what he meant for us right now. Uh, this year, he's been outstanding. He's uh, To me, he's the best two-way winger in the league. He's been able to contribute in the last uh, whatever it is before Christmas there, last six, seven games. Stuff that we didn't think he'd contribute because I believe he should have been on the World Junior team. And, uh, you know, he plays all role. He played all roles for us. Um, played center the last game for two periods. And, uh, you know, as good as we talk about him as a player, he's been a, a professional playing an amateur sport in his preparation and his leadership. Is this the, uh, the best deal you could have received for him? Well, yeah, it is or I wouldn't have done it. But I think uh, for various to numerous reasons, um, there's different ways you can go. But with our situation with, say, our, our 98-born players, which is led by Sam, and a lack of draft picks coming up, like we, we have a time where we're trying to aim for. And uh, just to get draft picks in 2000 and even 15 and 16 or something like that, they're they're that much younger, and um, this and 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 of course because of the team, the success of the team, like that, it made it harder and it and it slightly changed the directions as we worded it within our within our organization. It's we decided to start looking for more hybrid, but new buzzword trade because uh, Jesse is a young player at 17. He fits in in that age group with Wagner and Zabowski and Hilsendogger, um, you know, as good players the year ahead of Sam. And uh, it, it just sounded, it, and because of our team doing good, like we have no different expectation than them of not making the playoffs. Like that's, that's, we plan on doing that. And so we're able to add a, a good young player that is, you know, not in Morgan's class right now, but he's going to bring different things. He's going to play a lot. So it's a, it's a hybrid trade to, satisfy both needs here. This team did play pretty well without Morgan in the lineup at, at times. Did that factor in the decision? No, 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 that didn't factor in at all. But, uh, you know, that's, you got to deal with different uh, things, but no, it's, uh, but getting a player that can play in the lineup right now and contribute in, in some ways, that factored into it. What's the message to your, your players who worked pretty hard to get here and then maybe they look out of losing arguably your best player? Well, that, that's simple. That's what I said. We're, we're to make the playoffs. We don't have any doubts about that going ahead. There's no, this is just, this becomes part of hockey. And believe me, those guys understand that the misgivings of the past of what's caused this. And uh, it, it is what it is. Morgan and the other guys, you know, that are on this team, veteran players of 
left far more legacy in six months than had happened here in, in previous years. And they're aware of that, and they deserve credit for that and how they've played and stuff. And this is just a, a part of the past. You said you weren't happen. sorry. You said you weren't concerned about trading within the division, but did you get a sense from Kelly that he was sending a player over here that he's going well, to play the next three or four years? Yeah. Well, not four years. I mean, he's, this is, he's 17, he's two and a half years, he's going to be playing pro, mm -hmm. Gabriel. So, uh, yeah, he did. Because, um, but I think when you're willing to make a trade, you have to look at all things. Like, we know what we're giving up in the present. Our objective is different. His objective is obviously to win the Eastern Conference and to play probably Kelowna for the Western Championship. And you got to, you know, you got to give up things to get things. And he, he sure, he understands that. Gabriel can be a significant player. He's he's trying to win right now, just yeah. like we're trying to win at a different time. Sorry, are there any other deals on the? I wouldn't say if anything? there was any calls or anything right now before the trade deadline. I wouldn't say if there was or wasn't. Are there many other offers for Klimchuk that you had to consider? Well, there's lots of teams interested in a high-end player. That's that's for sure. But like I said, it comes down to how we played started to create a, a hybrid situation and there's when you look at picks at any time even starting this year like 2015 pick is two full years younger than Sam is and um, the next year would be even younger like we're so the next year even younger when Sergey and well we didn't have Gabriel but Sergey and Wagner and now Gabriel what, what are those picks going to do for those guys we have to start something here that's consistent program and then work with keeping a consistent program year after year.